what's going on guys welcome back to the channel the expanse we are here to see what happens next hopefully you guys are ready man so without no further ado if you guys want to see more episodes of the expanse go check it out on the patreon man i'm pretty sure we're way further along but check it out support your boy let's jump into the reaction i will see you guys right after for the review First time? First time what? First time in space. I am. Oh. Series born and raised then. Yeah. They say if you grow up on a station, you develop a natural agoraphobia. From living underground in the tunnels, you're not used to the wide open spaces. You just, you just looked a little nervous. That's all. If you identify the fear, you can get past it. What are you, a psychologist? I'm once a month for the past. I'm sorry, I hate when strangers try to talk to me on planes. <laughs> I do not like it. Mormon. Yes. A different kind of salesman. It's always such an awkward. But don't hold that against me. There's what are you selling? Time, but I would have. Not anymore. Are you a priest? Forgive me for saying so, but I don't get the impression you're a man who has accepted Jesus Christ into his heart. I'm just not that desperate. We all are. If we're being honest with ourselves. Let me ask you something. You guys are going to get on this big ship ride out in the great beyond for a hundred years. What happens when you get out there? There's nothing. That big planet you got picked out, it ain't worth a damn. Nobody really knows what's out there. Can't come back. Well, you're right about not coming back. But if that is the case, God has just revealed to us that we haven't finished our search yet. Doesn't that scare the shit out of you? Yeah, of course it does. But I put myself in the hands of God. True faith is a risk, you know, and with great risk comes. Yeah, yeah, I know the rest. Holmes, you guys might be getting out at just the right time. No life pod, no emergency habitat, nothing. These were the coordinates we were given. Alex, take her around. Let's have a look, see. I thought they sent them to the, to the scapuli. I guess I was wrong about that. I thought it went out to look for, for Julie. Alex, hold up. Swing back. Right there. Inside that crevasse. A shadow? It's just... That is some sweet parking job. It's a stealth ship. Just like the ones that killed the Donager. I kind of want to blast it. Easy there, partner. These things tend to shoot back. This is as far as you got? Level 4 MCRN encryption. A lot of Martian soldiers gave their lives for this information. I need to know why. I need you to look at something. Kind of busy. What the hell is that? I was hoping you could tell us. Great help. <laughs> it's nice stealth tech. Who has ships like that? Mars, of course. This is not a design I've seen before. It must be one of the new ones. It's not Martian. No one else built stealth. No one else can afford to. This is what Fred Johnson sent you out here to find. I don't think he knew it was out here. Bullshit. A dead stealth ship sitting next to a rock. Unless you know exactly where to look. You guys are out here to salvage this. We're not on a salvage mission. You can't We're not on a salvage mission. We're here looking for survivors. Main airlock's open, but the hull seems to be intact. There could still be air inside. All right, then. We're going in. Remember what happened the last time we went into one of these? This time we got guns of our own. Suit up. You're coming with us. Meet what? Why? And meet your new bodyguard. You see in our suit cams? Yep, all video feeds are looking good. This is bullshit. You can't just treat me like some kind of canary in a coal mine. <laughs> all right, people, hold on to your helmets. Dock and tunnel is engaged. In is good. Looks like somebody got spaced. Your kind of ship. So then it's not Julie then. I thought they were going back to the scapuli. I think that that's what I was thinking as must be some sort of code name, but I was Wrong. Her latch is broken from the inside. 
Someone forced their way out of this. Valkyrie? Belter suit. This is definitely not a Belter ship. What? No this way. Explains what happened to the crew in Scopuli. This is the ship. The one that killed the camp. It has to be. But why was the Scopuli crew on this ship? It doesn't make sense. See what shape the reactor's in. Take the flight deck. We need to check the ship's systems and logs. Take him with you. It'll be useful. Come on, Tweety Bird. Flight deck's got to be upstairs. After you. You guys need more eyes over there. Let me see what I can give you. This doesn't make yeah, sense. Why is them. there? Fires, dash, odd day. I suppose I've been trying not to. Didn't know any of them that well. Didn't exactly sign on to the camp to make friends. Why did you sign on to the camp? I wouldn't have to have conversations like this one. You picked a strange time to be chatty. We live in strange times. All the airlocks are open. No doubt about it. This ship was vented on purpose. Hangar bay is empty too. Folks, I do believe somebody got away. Why what, is anybody from the Scopuli the crew on this ship? This is crazy. Looks like we got a safe. There's something in it. Great. Another goddamn safe. Naomi. There's battery backup on the control panel. All systems green. Do you want me to fire up the reactor? This will go quicker if we had some lights. Yeah, just warm it up. Someone cut through the hatch. Somebody was trying to get the hell out of Dodge. The reactor was shut down properly. Hmm. So why did someone need to break in to do it? Uh, Naomi? What are you seeing? Bodies? Oh! That looks like the remnants of probably what happened on the Scopuli. Tycho Station pinged the Nathan Hale approximately four hours ago. Wanted to know why a UNN battleship was headed straight for them. What were they told? A plausible story about reactor malfunctions and an urgent need for temporary dock. We don't think they bought it. We'll be on the doorstep in three days, and that's not enough time for Fred Johnson to dismantle and hide an entire stealth tech program, is it? If we board and search that station... Tycho is an Earth Corp. We have jurisdiction. The Belters won't see it that way. They'll think we're lying, and the OPA will make sure of it. It's done. Moving on. James Holden. We learn nothing from a dead man. Holden will be killed in random street violence on Eros, the murder capital of the Belt. Wrong place and wrong time. What now? Frank DeGraff was found dead in his home this morning. Shit. He took his own life. That's your fault. I'm so sorry. We can finish later. We can finish now. She didn't even care. <laughs> well, she does care. It's just that too little too late. We're going in for a closer look. Alex, did your drone turn anything up? Negative. Not another soul on board. No bodies, no people. I wonder, I'm still wondering if Julie is the one that sends the message because if there's Scopuli crew on this ship, Julie might be the one that sent the, the SOS. What is that? Can't have you sneaking in the comms and calling someone you shouldn't. I know, right? <laughs> Feel free to try though. <laughs> what is that? That's crystallizing like that. What is that? As I said, it looks like the aftermath of what we saw in episode one that Julie saw. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Nothing even close. Maybe it's stealth tech stuff. A nanofluid spill that froze when the ship was vented. So I'm saying it just looks like something like that. The ship's called the Anubis. Anubis. This is the Anubis? Uh huh. It's pronounced Anubis. Egyptian god of the dead. Mm-hmm. And this works too. <laughs> this is the Anubis. People, let's review. All right, so the crew of this badass ship boards the Scopuli, uses it as bait 
to nuke the can't. The space is the crew, except for Lionel Polanski, who somehow survives. And then he powers down, vents the ship, and then leaves a nuclear missile, state-of-the-art stealth fighter. That makes sense to anybody? The ship's in perfect condition. Why would he just leave? Hey guys, I just accessed the nav. The ship was headed to Eros from Phoebe Station. Phoebe. Opa said they found everyone on Phoebe dead. Some toxic spill or something. I'm getting a real bad feeling about this. Yeah. Hold him behind you. Jesus. Back off. Whatever that shit is, y'all need to get away. I think he's absorbing energy from the reactor. We have to kill the power. Stand by. It's receding. For a second, it felt like that thing was... Alive. Alive. Yeah. Cut out the computer cores. It's time to leave. Alex, we've encountered a possible biohazard. We need full decontamination. We should stow these in the cargo bay in case we need to jettison them quick. It makes sense why the person just left it there because it's like, bro. You're going to Eros, aren't you? Aren't you? If this Lionel Polanski is going to be anywhere, it's going to be there. You know that place. Let me help you find him. If I do, you let me walk. It's okay. When we find Polanski, not before. Anybody object to us turning that ship into scrap? Hell no. Well, I anybody do. except you. Look, you control that ship. Why would you destroy something you control? Because that ship is a weapon. The thing on it felt like a weapon, too. And I don't think Fred Johnson or Earth or Mars or anybody should have it. Torpedoes armed and ready. Fire. That's a crazy weapon, though. I don't think it's the end of that though because it looks like it's like uh, I don't know how to describe it. Remember the can. Now we are arrows now. I was wondering if you'd help me out. I'm looking for my ship. <laughs> yeah, the Anubis. Check the board. I, I did that. It's here. We don't give out that info. I'm just trying to find her. You know. If she's here, he's gonna be in some trouble. Son of a. How about I sponsor you around? More luck when it's not your money. Help! <laughs> Get off of me! The new Lionel Polanski. Freeze! Don't move! That simply means that whoever is Lionel Polinsky or whatever, Lionel Polinsky, right? I think that's Julie. I think it's Julie, man, because Julie is the only survivor of the Scopuli. So, do you think that the stealth ships belong to... You think that is all Fred, though? You think it's Fred? Because it's like, how did a mem how do any crew member from the Scopuli end up on the Anubis? The question that I'm asking right now, because obviously this person took a ship, uh, a mini ship or whatever, from the Anubis to get back um, to this place here, Eros, right? Eros, Eros, <laughs> right? Obviously, that's what happened. But I'm thinking this has got to be Julie, man. But then again, why would Julie come here and not contact anybody? Or maybe that's what she did. I don't know, man. Because I, I, I really do think that Julie is still alive. And it's the only explanation why she would still be alive. Unless she's still on the scopuli. Whatever this thing that they invented or whatever the situation is that we're trying to create out here... That's crazy, because maybe this is the new... It, it, it seems like something bio... is like a biochemical weapon. It seems like that. And if 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 the OPA get their hands on this, this could be a problem. Because the, the OPA there, maybe not all of them are terrorists, but 
they've done some stuff and it's obvious that they've done some stuff. And if they get their hands on this, bro, that's crazy. Sammy, you seem sober. That's the biggest surprise of the night. Uh, judging by the footprint on that Doc Master's chest, I'd say you were stomping on Elite. Why are you on Eros? Oh, it's not, uh, Eros, it's not so Eros. Funny. I was saying Eros. It's I Eros. Employed. <sighs> no, this just keeps getting better and better. Open the door. I'm taking this one for a walk. Hey, just give me a coffee. You could trace the girl. Me. But that's security cameras. And we usually lock people up for shit like that. Yeah, I told you, this ain't the old days. New security contract. The CPM guys are a pack of criminals with badges. They shut down access to all the public cameras while they revamp the system. Just setting up a shakedown network while nobody's watching. Look, Amy, what do you know about this kid? Why she's on Heroes? Trust your gut before your head gets in the way. Yeah, I used to spout off all kinds of bullshit back in the day. Like how the road to hell is paved with good intentions. When I got kicked off the force, I gave you that hat so you'd keep your head. Now you're following this girl out to the ass crack of the solar system. And what in your head even tells you that this girl's looking to get rescued? Who helped bomb those ships to start a goddamn war? Who put a bullet in your head the minute you knock on her door? Yeah, she might. But you're still gonna pull on that thread, aren't you? No matter what I say. No matter what you unravel. That's crazy, I man. believe in her. That's all I got. That's all I got. It's like, why? You know what I mean? Think I'm crazy? Oh, yes, we all did. <laughs> They're gonna beat my ass when they check the logs. I knew you wouldn't take no for an answer. So she, it is her. Lana Polanski. Okay. That's the name she used when she registered the shuttle. Yep, so I was right. Was <laughs> Where is it? I was I right. Was Let's go. It's not a good place. You can, I'll talk to you later. I buddy. said it has to be her, man. Oh. Because I was trying to say that maybe it's not her because, but I'm like, who else can it be? The request to dock for repairs claiming a reactor malfunction, but we believe they're deliberately altering their drive signature. Roughly two days, sir. Keep me posted. You said you cracked it. Hope it's not a letter to a wife. It's not. It's a real-time tactical record of the Doniger battle. This must have come directly from the CIC. They also got high-res images of the attacking ships but they were able to collect highly detailed drive signatures. They did fly closer to those ships than anyone else in the system, unfortunately for them. So what are you going to do now? Are you going to show us what he saw? <laughs> Jeez, man. I want to see what he saw. How is it that nobody noticed this yet? Now he's sending his location now because he can broadcast. Systems acting up today. Is it? You could just uh, give it a good whack. Here you go. Help you? Looking for a friend who checked into a room here. Lionel Polanski. It's a special friend. It's his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> this is like five of them. I got an L. Polanski in room 22. Call up for you? No, no, it's a surprise thing. Thank you. Why is there so many <laughs> dudes coming into this room? Because he has a one name. Maybe I should go up on my own. I'd freak the guy out. Maybe take any mess. Alone is fine. Something is going down. Amos is. Naomi is she is not okay, bro. Oh, nice. And John James Holden should just 
follow you around, don't it, kid? You a cop? Not anymore. Not anymore. Depends when you watch it's a like lot of just, who the scripted hell are you? stuff. Somebody else Lines of dialogue here? just no. flow out. <laughs> no, so. You do now. A son of a bitch. Semi, listen, you're gonna get an alert from the Blue Falcon. Shots fired, a bunch of dead bodies. So we need to talk. Who the hell are you, and what are you doing here? Now, any second, there's gonna be another group of thugs coming through that door. This time with badges. Touch me again. There's gonna be another body on the floor. <laughs> Is that makes sense? <laughs> You're telling me none of these people heard the all that gunshot that's happened? Damn. This must be the most soundproof place ever. Dang. Julie? Oh, God, what's that smell? Sweat. Sick. Sweat? Scopuli. She's hiding. It's either that or she or she um left the room. She might put up a bitch of a fight. Or they got her already. No, they were turning things off. When was that reactor? Nobody touch anything. Wait, wait. Oh my god. Who? My skin. Oh god. Holy crap. I don't wanna see do not show that on the screen again, please. Is it what happened to her? Oh my god, that is... I, I don't want to... That is... Disgusting! Oh my god, my skin is crawling, dude. Oh my god. I, I, Jeez! Bro. Ah, that is disgusting. And she made... It, what if that's something that... Spreads? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my god, jeez, my skin. My skin, my skin, my skin. Calm down. I don't want to see that again. That is... Oof. 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 <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I think some things just don't need... I don't need to, to ever see in life. You know what I'm saying? I remember, like, probably about, I want to say, I don't think it's been 10 years. I don't think so. I don't think it's been 10 years. But there was a trend going around, probably like, I want to say it's close to 10 years ago. But I don't think it's a, a, like 10, 10 years ago. It would be 2013. So I'm talking about maybe like 2015, 16, somewhere around there. And... There was this trend going around where they were showing what it's like these bogus ads that were going around that were saying like shampoo would do certain things to your skin and there were these there was these really ugh, images that were that just stays with you man and now that i'm talking about it i'm remembering it so it's like the cycle all over again it just make your skin crawl man Ooh. Just, it, 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 they were bogus ads because the shampoos didn't actually do that to you. They would just show these weird sores with, ugh. I don't want to gross y'all out, so I'm not even going to try to pull up like a picture of it or whatever. It, it's just, they would show it like on your shoulder, on your face. It was just... I hate when I when I see stuff like that. I don't know what it is. What it is. I'm pretty sure there's there is a scientific term for or medical term for it for why I feel this way when I see stuff like that. But it's like it's kind of like when I see a lot of like ants like together and stuff like that. Like it's ugh, it just. It just makes you feel a certain kind of way, man. I don't know if any. I, I'm. I know that this doesn't happen to everybody. I know it doesn't. Even, uh, but it's. It's a thing. <laughs> it's a thing. So this episode, man, everything converged that I was talking about earlier in the series. Where I, 
where I was talking about, I said, eventually all these storylines are going to come together at some point because they're all look essentially looking for the same thing this one girl and i really thought that she would survive but it seems like this is some sort of disease my skin is still crawling oh man every time i think about what i just saw man and i know the image is going to go out of my mind eventually but now that i'm actively thinking about it whew, that is not an image i want in my head bro oh my god man Ugh. and it was in her mouth on her skin oh man that was if that's what is they they're gonna have to figure out a way because it seems like it spreads this seems like a biochemical weapon that can literally wipe out cities and <laughs> countries even maybe even a whole planet if because because it looked like it strives on energy on um uh elite, um i don't even know man i can't even talk properly think properly because of this damn image in my head like that was nuts everything converged um I started to even doubt it if it's actually her that's pretending to be Lionel uh, Polanski. But it turns out it is her. And they found her. She's dead. So now what? We have two more episodes left in the season. And my question is, now what? Now that she, the objective since like, see, since like episode one, it's now, now that we found her dead, now what? It's like, they're going to have to try to figure out, like, what's going on? What is this thing that they found on the ship? What is this weapon? Why did the OPA want this? <sighs> man. Bro, look at what it's doing, man. Why would you even want that? Why wouldn't you want even to, why wouldn't you want to destroy something? If you create something like that, why wouldn't you want to just destroy that? What do you want that to do with? Oh, my mind would be completely set on if I accidentally create something like that as a scientist. Right? Something that's so aggressively out of control that could wipe out the human race. Why wouldn't I immediately just destroy that? My God, man. We're going to be the end of us. Power, man. My God, I am so grossed out by this. Great episode, nonetheless man man i'm in it now i'm in it now because i want to see what's the aftermath of this what is the objective now i want to know fred is waiting on the, the black ops people to come there <sighs> there's so much going on but leave a like leave a comment let me know how you felt about this episode. I'm grossed out by that picture, bro. And they showed it twice. They should have just showed it one time. One time was enough. I didn't want to see it again. Oh my God, that image is in my head. Leave a like, leave a comment, man. I'll see you guys next time.